to my guys, my gals, it's your man's Veracity TT back again with another tutorial. I had a subscriber ask me how to record mix buses off the X32 inside of a DAW, so we're going to do that today. Now listen, this getting into the territory of advanced routing, so bear with me and try to follow along. Now, the first thing you want to do is pull up your routing tab and you want to go to the out section. So you see over here where it says um, mix bus one through eight. You see that it's ghost town over here because I moved it over. So move your mix buses over to your direct out for the auxes channels one through eight. We are about to make those auxes come out of channel 17 through 24. This is about the only way I know how to do it without using actual wires. So digitally you want to put your 17 through 38 on the aux tab there the difference between the 1 through 16 and 1 through 6m is the m keep all of the things that you do with like compression and the t don't so now when you go to your car inputs you leave those the same come back over here you want that 17 through 24 to go to your aux because we about to make aux or mix bus now next step let's see here let's get out of here so now when you inside of here i got everything <clears throat> i got everything in pro tools routed mono so on this track four i just dropped the sound in um don't pay no attention to that 31 and none of that so the main thing here you just want your output to be on the exact channel that it is so like i'm gonna go to 17 here you want 17 to say out 17 and I'm going to rename this to aux as well. So we won't get confused. Now let's go over to the X32 so I can show you what to do here. Now, once you on the X32, I'm going to click on that channel four there, select sends on fader. And you see, I'm already on bus one through eight and I'm going to turn that up, right? So remember, select the channel that you got sound going through all the ones that you want to send to the bus. And you got to click that sends on fader and then just turn up the uh, fader. All right. If you need to learn how to do buses, I got a quick one minute video on my page. I'll link that up top. So that's how you do buses on the X32. So now what you do while you on that first bus, you want to go over here, page over to the config tab and scroll down till you see aux one and then set it. Go to bus number two. See that bus number two selected and I'm still on config scroll down and now I'm going to do aux two. That's how you do it. All right. So let's go back into pro tools. Now that we got the X32 set up. Now click on the record button there so you can arm channel 17 because this is how you record and mute it. So it won't give you uh feedback. Click on record, press play. So once you press play, as you can see, it's recording sound from that channel four. Let me scroll up. See that channel four. So it's getting it off that mix bus that we got set to the aux. So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, this can get really, really complicated because the X32 is open and it gives you a lot of ways to do a lot of different things. So I got other tutorials on how to mix with the X32 plugins using the P16s, which allow you to use effects on the channels and record those straight in. Also, while you're using um, plugins at the same time. So if you using that setup with this, all you would do is create additional tracks. I'm going to link that video up top too. But basically with that video it's just 16 uh tracks or whatever because the p16 is limited to allowing you to use like compression eq and all of that with only 16 tracks so if you want to do that and do this i'll leave a comment and let me know if you want me to make a tutorial and show you how to do the same thing i'll also make um i'll make y'all a, a scene and a behringer so y'all can load it straight up and just use it and I'll create a Pro Tools template for you guys so you can just set it up and do your thing without having to actually know how, you know, because it can get confusing. 
So if this helped you out, like and comment below because that helped the channel out. I'm trying to grow the channel, y'all. And, you know, I appreciate everybody that do come in and comment. You know, that make my day reading the comments or whatever. So if y'all got any suggestions on content that y'all want to see from me sp uh, specifically, just let me know in the comment section below, okay? Because you know I got y'all back. All right? Y'all take care and have a good one.